Hello and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, in presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Qutaybiyah Palace today Sultan and ruler of Malaysia's Johor State, His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim ibn Al Marhum Sultan Iskandar, who is currently on a visit to the kingdom upon an invitation from His Majesty the King. Upon his arrival to Qutaybiyah Palace, school students and tradition bands welcomed the kingdom's guests. السلام السلطاني لولاية وغليم جاهور دار التعظيم والسلام الملكي البحريني
Then His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim greeted Bahrain senior officials and His Majesty the King greeted the members of the Sultan's accompanying delegation. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم جلالة السلطان إبراهيم ابن المرحوم سلطان اسكندر سلطانة وحاكمة ولاية وأقليم جهود رد دار التعظيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه أصحاب السمو الملكي أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة أيها السيدات والسادة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته نبدأ هذا اللقاء بتلاوة عطرة من القرآن الكريم يتلوها على مسامعنا القارئ علي صلاح عمر Meeting then began with the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran and His Majesty the King then delivered a speech وسارعوا إلى مغفرة من ربكم وجنة عرضها السماوات والأرض أعدت للمتقين الذين ينفقون في السراء والضراء والكاظمين الغيظ والعافين عن الناس والله يحب المحسنين والذين إذا فعلوا فاحشة أو ظلموا أنفسهم ذكروا الله فاستغفروا لذنوبهم ومن يغفر الذنوب إلا الله ولم يصروا على ما فعلوا وهم يعلمون أولئك جزاؤهم مغفرة من ربهم وجنات وجنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها 
ونعم أجر العاملين صدق الله العظيم يتفضل سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه بإلقاء كلمة بهذه المناسبة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم جلالة السلطان إبراهيم سكندر سلطان ولاية جوهور حفظكم الله أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نود بداية أن نعرب عن خالص ترحيبنا وبالغ سرورنا بزيارة جلالتكم إلى مملكة البحرين التي تكن لماليزيا الشقيقة كل التقدير والمحب مستذكرين بهذه المناسبة ما حظينا به من حفاوة وتكريم خلال زيارتنا لماليزيا الشقيقة في شهر أبريل الماضي وما أجريناه من مباحثات هام ومثمرة جسدت الاهتمام المشترك لرفع مستويات التعاون في إطار العلاقات الأخوية الوثيقة التي تجمع بلدينا كما أسعدتنا زيارات الوفود الماليزية إلى مملكة البحرين في ضوء نتائجها الطيبة مرحبين بالمزيد منها لتكثيف التباحث حول برامج العمل القادمة وأوجه تنفيذها بما يلبي تطلعاتنا ويدعم مصالحنا ويسرنا هنا أن ننوه بجهودكم الكبيرة التي تبذلونها لتعظيم إنجازاتكم الوطنية على كافة الأصعدة وهو أمر لمسناه بحق لدى اطلاعنا عن قرب على نموذج التنمية الماليزية وما تشهده من نهضة لافتة مقدرين لكم دوركم الرائد والمسؤول في حفظ الأمن ونشر السلام في ربوع العالم كوسيلة لاقنا عنها لاستمرار التعايش والتقارب الإنساني لخير البشرية جمعا جلالة السلطان إبراهيم يطيب لنا في هذا اللقاء المبارك أن نجدد عزمنا وتأكيدنا على الاستمرار في تقوية علاقاتنا الثنائية ورفع مستويات تعاوننا في كافة المجالات والمستندة إلى تاريخ طويل من التواصل والتقارب الأخوي القائم على ثقة راسخة واحترام متبادل والذي يأخذنا بإذن الله تعالى نحو مستقبل واعد من التعاون المتواصل والبناء وبما يعود على بلدينا بالرفعة والإزدهار وفي الختام فأننا نجدد الترحيب بجلالتكم ويسعدنا بهذه المناسبة الطيبة أن نقلدكم وسام والد الجميع الشيخ عيسى بن سلمان آل خليفة رحمه الله تقديرا واعتزازا بجهودكم وإنجازاتكم المشهودة مع تمنياتنا لكم بدوام التوفيق والسداد والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Then His Majesty the King honored Johor Sultan with Bahrain's highest national order, Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa's medal in appreciation for his efforts in reinforcing joint cooperation. Then His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim of Johor delivered a speech. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
الله وبركاته. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. By the name, in the name of Your Majesty, the most merciful. Please accept my highest appreciation. جلالة الحمد. For your majesty, kind invitation and hospitality for my visit to your beautiful kingdom. I open my arm and welcome your majesty to visit Johor at any time. Your majesty, Alhamdulillah, I'm grateful to accept and honor by your majesty kindness in granting the medal of Sheikh Issa bin Salman al Khalifa to me on this auspicious occasion. If it please your majesty, I now present the first class of the most extreme order of the royal family of Johor which was instituted in 1886 to your majesty as a token of the strong brotherhood and bond between the people of the kingdom of Bahrain and your Darul Qadim. Thank you. Wa bilahi tawfiq wa yidayah. Wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim, Sultan Ibrahim honored His Majesty King Hamad with the most esteemed royal family order of Johor, which was first instituted in 1886 in appreciation of His Majesty the King's role in developing bilateral relations. Earlier in the day, Sultan and ruler of Malaysia's Johor State, His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim bin al Marhum Sultan Iskandar, arrived in the kingdom upon an invitation extended by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa to hold talks on the deep rooted bilateral relations in addition to reviewing a number of issues of common concern. His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim was received upon his arrival by Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak al Khalifa, Minister of Information and Head of the Honorary Commission. Ali Ramehi and Muharraq's governor, Salman bin Hindi.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today members of the Royal Family, a number of senior officials, members of the Representatives Council, business persons, media figures and citizens. He affirmed that, that the region's developments so call for national unity and resolution to maintain safety and security while asserting the importance of punishing all terrorist acts. The Prime Minister noted that Royal Directives guide the government to achieve its goals of sustainable development. He added that the government is keen on providing citizens with services that will enhance their living standards. His Royal Highness expressed appreciation for the role played by the press and the media in shedding light on the causes of the kingdom and in enlightening the society about the importance of solidarity in facing all challenges to preserve national achievements. Addressing the press and media, His Royal Highness expressed his keenness on following up on the issues raised by writers concerning citizens and the services provided to them. He expressed thanks and appreciation to them for their national role. The Premier hailed the role of the Parliament in developing the Kingdom's legislations to keep up with the latest developments, particularly on the economic and security levels, to maintain the safety of the Kingdom and attract more investments. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to citizens for their kind sentiments on the birthday of His Royal Highness, praising the strong ties among the people of Bahrain. Prince Khalifa bin Salman also discussed with the attendees the latest Arab international developments. He expressed his deep regret over the abhorrent terrorist incident in Egypt last Friday, affirming the importance of joint action and taking strong and firm measures to eradicate terrorism and dry its sources. The Premier noted that GCC and Arab countries' leaders work to maintain the security and stability of their countries. He asserted that the societies must be aware of the plots aimed at undermining security and stability and uh, destroying the foundations that are indispensable for the advancement of any society.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Qutbiya Palace the Ambassador of Sudan to the Kingdom Ibrahim Mohammed Al Hassan to greet His Royal Highness on the occasion of his appointment. The Ambassador conveyed the greetings of the President of Sudan Omar Hassan Al Bashir to His Royal Highness on his wishes of abundant health and happiness. He also conveyed the invitation of the first Vice President of Sudan and Prime Minister Admiral Bakri Hassan Saleh to His Royal Highness to visit the Republic. His Royal Highness expressed satisfaction with the development of bilateral relations in various domains, which embodies the deep-rooted ties between the two countries' leaders and people. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on developing means of cooperation with Sudan in various fields, noting the importance of activating agreements and joint memorandums of understanding between the two countries. For his part, the Sudanese ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness on developing bilateral ties, hailing His Royal Highness's visions and stances that solidify cooperation between our countries. He also noted that Sudan is keen on boosting relations and expanding areas of cooperation with Bahrain, highlighting the kingdom's growth and advancements in various domains. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at the Qutbiya Palace today the Ambassador of China to Bahrain, Ki Zinghong. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the strong Bahraini-Chinese relations at all levels, affirming Bahrain's keenness to enhance strategic cooperation with China. His Royal Highness highlighted China's political and economic importance in facing international issues, wishing it further progress and prosperity. He added that the latest developments require joint cooperation to preserve security and stability. His Royal Highness the Premier commended the role of the Chinese as ambassador in developing cooperation between the two countries, wishing him further success in carrying out his diplomatic duties. For his part, the ambassador of China hailed His Royal Highness's support to the bilateral cooperation, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain further development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa deputized the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to attend the concluding ceremony of the Ironman Middle East Championship in the presence of the First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the ceremony, His Highness Sheikh Nasser honored the sponsors and the first title winners. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the achievements made by His Highness Sheikh Nasser and hailed the organizing level and keenness of the organizing committee to ensure the success of the championship. He hailed the accomplishments of the Bahraini youth under the care and keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to support the youth and sports sector. The Crown Prince expressed pride in the historical achievements made by Sheikh Nasser and his qualification to the Ironman Championship that will be held in 2018 in Hawaii. He added that this achievement is one of the many achievements that His Highness accomplished, which contributed to enhancing the status of the kingdom. Meanwhile, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for patronizing the championship and deputizing him to attend the ceremony. He expressed the joy for making this achievement and praised the high spirits of the participants that contributed to the success. His Highness Sheikh Khalid then honored His Highness Sheikh Nasser for making this achievement.
At the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, during the government form 2017 Wiselty held under the auspices of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, with the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to hold workshops to develop mechanisms and definite and def defined priorities that constitute the government's futuristic aspirations, the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of both ministerial committees on construction, infrastructure and fiscal affairs and expenditure controls, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, announced the approval of nine policies, 32 initiatives to be implemented in more than 250 proposed projects, which generally and initially form the government's futuristic aspirations on the financial, economic and infrastructure themes. The Deputy Premier today chaired the workshop on the financial, economic and infrastructure themes attended by the Minister who were members of both committees and more than a hundred government officials. In his speech at the meeting, the Deputy Premier said that the meeting today mirrors the patronage and care of the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the welfare and dignified living of the Bahraini citizens being the focus of sustainable development in all fields. This is the first time the government of Bahrain have done uh, preparation for the uh, government program for the next four years in this way. Uh, this time there has been participation by all the ministries and uh, authorities with their officials and uh, staff in bringing about ideas and uh, projects that they think should be done in the next four years. The whole purpose of, uh, of the workshops is to uh, draft the second uh, action, government action plan, which is to be uh, submitted uh, with the Legislative uh, Council. Uh, this by itself, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a true achievement uh, within the government uh, from the sense, from the point of view that it is uh, uh, along with the government, once this action plan uh, is approved, to, mo to move uh, much faster and which reflects the, uh, the seri seriousness uh, of the government. The uh, submission of the policies were focused on development and enhancement of the infrastructure with emphasis on the sectors that, that uh, compromise the priority for the coming economic uh, movement in Bahrain, such as the tourism, such as the uh, oil, the infrastructure for the technology and information, the logistic uh, services, and extra. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, chaired by its speaker Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, in which it ratified the minutes of the previous meeting. The council discussed the Foreign Affairs, Defense, and National Security Committee report on a draft law organizing the registration of births and deaths, which came after taking the final decision on a draft law amending a number of provisions of panel code issued in Decree Number 15 of 1976. And in the presence of the Minister of Finance, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, CFA Society Bahrain, the Kingdom's preeminent association for local investment professionals, hosted its annual Charter Award ceremony yesterday. More on this report with Haba Abdel Ghaffar. CFA Society Bahrain recognized 38 new charter holders who just joined the Kingdom's preeminent association for local investment professionals after a long journey of commitment and hard work. Those successful candidates are new professionals having gold standard technical knowledge, high standards of ethics with a commitment to lifelong learning to forge an industry that truly serves the needs of the society in Bahrain. It's important because I truly believe that learning now is a continuous process. We have to continue to keep up with best practice. We have to continue to learn as the world is advancing and changes in around us. So I'm quite pleased to see that 38 people graduated today and received their charter. And it's important to see that the Bahrain branch actually has more than 200 members. I'm quite pleased to have met with them and to have spoken with them about how we see challenges and opportunities in our economy 
as it progresses forward. The great thing about the CFA and the great thing for Bahrain is that what we are producing for the community here are not only well-educated people but well-motivated ethical financial professionals who will really build a financial industry that is in all Bahraini's best interests. Uh, there is a lot of technical that will help these uh, charter holders uh, take better and uh, a decision when it comes to the analysis, when it comes to the choice of the investments, uh, when it comes to uh, ethics as well. It's an amazing achievement. To earn the CFA designation, candidates must pass three levels of exams, meet the work experience requirements of four years in the investment industry, and sign a commitment to abide by the CFA Institute Code of Ethics and Standards of Professional Conduct. All my emotions are just gushing back and you know I, I, I'm speechless at the moment I feel relieved plus so happy that you know I see my parents they're so proud I'm so proud of myself it's just unbelievable it was uh, very tough but once you see the result that you accomplished something that is extremely meaningful all the stress just uh, goes away you learn a lot within like those three exams it, it changes you it, 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 it's not about the learning as well it's about the implementation because it covers the practical aspects of it Bahrain has a brilliant business friendly environment and acts as a leading center for financial banking and business services in the region so world-class competencies are necessary for pursuing investment operations adapting with the structural changes in the global economy relying on a solid base of financial and economic statistics CFA is known to be a very challenging certificate, so witnessing the success of a new generation of finance professionals is an added value to Bahrain's investment market and certainly a source of pride. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul